Hi everyone, uh, it's Martin again. Today I'm tying a an Alphonse special. Um, quite a simple bonefish fly. So I'll be tying a size four, um, but you could tie them sexies. It's up to two, I suppose. Um, I wouldn't go much bigger than that with this pattern. The, the proportions start to look a bit a bit off um, so I'm starting my hook and device and I'm going to run on a base of clear monofilament thread this is, Dan, this is just Danvos but you could use the uni or whatever um, to make sure the turns are touching if you just hold the tag end up quite tightly it'll look the turns that you put in behind will um, or put in over it will be pushed forward towards the eye of the hook um, and it will butt up against the previous turn so you get a nice even base and then I just spiral them back up to about an eye width back from the uh, maybe to an eye and a half back from the hook eye um, for a sort of closer minnow uh, position I'm going to tie in a set of small uh, lead dumbbells this is painted gold with a black, um, a black pupil. And you can really crank down on them with a nylon thread so they don't move. You know, you can don't be afraid to put a bit of pressure on them. Um, get them solid. Check that they're even. But a super glue. So the body of this fly is just some um, two or three strands of crystal flash. Tie it in, wind it back. You don't need to be too fussy with this because the double layer sort of catches everything. And also, if it's a bit sort of wound roughly, you get nice, um, you know, the, 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 the pearl essences sort of there are more facets, so it shines and it glistens in more directions. Then just Sort of take your crystal flash through the figure it through the dumbbells. And then I'll just invert the hook. Uh, just so you get a better view. And then I'll fold these back to be the first part of the wing. Just leave them whatever length they are, quite, I mean, more or less, you know, long but uneven. I mean, the, 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 that's twice the length of the hook shank, uh, or twice the length of the hook, probably that wing. Um, the next thing is some, um, I'm using goat, um, the original was llama here, but I've got this bunch of goat here, which is quite nice, nice sort of. It's still similar translucent, but it's a bit finer fibre than than the than llama, so I prefer it. Uh, it's a bit more mobile if you want. So I'm just 
like sort of hand stacking it because that under fur there's still quite nice and breathy and it's got all that nice translucence but the guard here is still um, worth including and again it's, just, it's actually a bit heavy take a third of it away see that so your wing couple of hook lengths and I just split it with a just split it with a hook point and then pinch and loop to position it hold it sort of up so that the thread can't, doesn't pull it round make sure it's sitting right on top and then again tight wraps because this here's slick and so is your thread you know it's not it's, it's monofilament um, I just like to put a dab of super glue here again just just for a bit of security because the, the solid hair uh, doesn't compress so the thread really struggles to grip it and especially with it being a monofilament thread so I've, I've glued that and cinched down quite tightly, very tightly actually. You can actually, if you look carefully, you can see the, the threads actually sort of warped a wee bit because of the amount of pressure I was putting on it. So that's uh, the last. The last part of the wing is just four strands of um, red crystal flash. And what I like to do is take the, the thread right to right to the hook eye. And then a fold fold the crystal flash over my thread, catch it on top, and just wind it back, and that will be a nice wing. Um I'll just I'll cut them uneven lengths like that I'll just snap the some of the f that goes a wee bit long, just snap it so you don't ruin the taper and the last stage is just another piece of pearl crystal flash to be wound over the over the head Just to make sure. Trim that. Trim your thread. Just fix that wing. And that's it, the Alphonse special. Um, just I like to come in with a bit of super, uh, just head cement's fine actually, um, no super glue I'm using. And slather it about the head there, onto the eye, over the dumbbells, and even the body doesn't do you any harm. 
Ja, war ja cool. There you have it, the Alphonse special. Fairly simple. To the one fish fly. Quite flashy, but no. It's very flashy, but it's sparse. It's not a big bulky thing. So it's it's worth having something like this in your box as well. And um, not just you know, not just big bulky wing things and attractors. Sort of flashy but still somehow subtle. So I hope you liked that. Uh, if you did, or if you didn't, leave a comment below. Let me know what sort of flies you would like me to tie. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.